Let's take a look how to apply the Victoria 9 HD makeup to characters other than Victoria. Hello everyone, I'm Jay and on this channel we're helping you become better 3D artists with Das Studio. Today I want to answer a question that I've been getting quite a few times over the last few months and that is how do I apply the Victoria 9 HD makeup to characters that aren't Victoria 9? What's the magic behind it? Why do they work so well on Victoria but not on the Genesis 9 base figure for example or other characters? Let's take a quick look at the makeup options. Here's Das Original. This is part of this bundle here, the Victoria 9 HD intro bundle, in case you've bought this. And you can see that the great, great makeup options. These are all based on LIEs, by the way. So they're LIE options, but they're applied with a bit of a twist. If you haven't watched my previous video about how LIEs work under the hood and the new changes that have been introduced with Das Studio 4.21, then please go and watch that now. There's a link to that video in the description of this video. So these work a little bit different than traditional LIEs work or have worked or are still really working inside DAS Studio. If you go into your library, and I've just picked this one here, the Runic Tattoos for Genesis 9, they are plain LIEs. And you can spot those in your content library if they have this yellow strip that says layered. That means this is an LIE. If I double click that, one or multiple textures will be merged with something else and then reapplied to your character. That's how they work. But the Victoria 9 HD makeup, that doesn't look like that. So if I go and find that product, here it is, then I can see that it doesn't say layered at all. It says script up here. And this is because each of these makeup options applies not one layered image, but multiple as part of a stack. And as such, if you go and pick something else, like maybe say change the lips from this color to that color, then if this was a simple LIE, it would just literally add another image on top of that. So this is how LIEs also technically work. If you load the same LIE twice, it just goes and adds up. So that's good for dirt. If you wanted to have dirt or scars or something appear a little bit more intense, then you just load it twice and then you have two images that are on top of one another and they just double the effect of a single image. But these scripts, they're clever enough that they say, well, on say my eyeshadow here, there's a foundation layer and then there's maybe a glitter layer and then there's a final layer. If I change the color, then the script needs to know, hey, the bottom layer needs to be replaced with something else and there's some kind of logic that's applied there. It also means multiple layered images are applied there. So while I'm talking about it, let me just go and apply this to my Genesis 9 base figure here. This doesn't look very nice at all. I mean, the normal skin looks okay in filament, but when it goes over to the where the makeup is applied to the head section, that looks terrible. Whereas when I go over to Victoria with the same makeup applied, that looks okay. This is just in filament, so let's go switch over to iRay and see what the effect is there. And then I'll show you how to fix this on non-Victoria 9 characters. There, this is Victoria. And this is the Genesis base figure. So it looks better in iRay, but I can still see really ugly rings around the eyes. And I can just, you know, this is this is just not working. So what's what, why has this happened? What's the difference? How can we make it better? Since the makeup is only applied to the head surface, head over to your surfaces tab and then open up your Victoria 9 surfaces, then scroll down to the head. Then you can see where the makeup is applied. You can also use your surface selection tool to hover over the surfaces of your figure and then select the one in question. So if I go and select that, then it'll select my head here. And that's kind of, that's, lets me see what's happening here. So under the makeup section, this is where all these LIEs have been applied. There's makeup enable, and then we have makeup weight. If I hover over that, I can see that this is applied in the temporary directory. So Das Studio has done some merging. And if I click on this and head over to the layered image editor, then I can see all the different layers that have been applied here. And I can switch them off or on if I wanted to and play around with that. I'm not going to do that because that is not the solution to the puzzle. So cancel out of that. Just to let you know, this is where they are. So the solution is actually in a different part of this shader channel, namely in the base channel here. And then under the base channel, we can see that at the very bottom, there is a normal map applied. And so the script had assumed that the character that I'm applying this makeup to already had a normal map and then mixes other things in, namely also as an LIE. If I head over to the layered image editor again, then I can see there's lips and eyeshadow have been applied as LIEs. But the trouble was there was no 
base normal to begin with with the Genesis 9 base figure, but on the Victoria 9 figure there was. So the solution to the puzzle is to disable the normal map here altogether by switching that to none. And then, lo and behold, a few seconds later, my makeup looks okay on the base figure. This will change if I apply other options. So if I'm zooming in here and if I'm thinking, hey, let me go and apply a different eyeshadow here, maybe the, the pink one here, then the problem comes back. If you zoom in close, you can see that this still has an issue, this area. But that is once again because the script assumed there was a normal map that needed to be adjusted. But because we didn't have one, let's go back and take that out. Here it is, normal map, switch that to none, and then my regular figure looks fine. Meanwhile, and just to prove a point, if I go over to Victoria and we'll have a look in her normal channel, under base normal, there's also a normal map here, and I'm going to go into the layered image editor to just have a look at it, and I can see that the normal map contained other detail on top of which the makeup's details have been added, so LIEs also work on normals. But yes, that is the problem. If you want to use the Victoria 9 makeup or potentially other makeups that are made with these scripts in the future, and you see weird issues, just check if the character that you're applying it to had normals, and if not, then go and remove that normal map. Alternatively, apply a normal map to the character that you want to use the makeup on, and then add the script onto it. I hope this was helpful, and I hope this lets you use your Victoria 9 HD makeup on all your Genesis 9 figures going forward.